Hey guys, welcome back to Baroness's Math Club. Today's topic is subtracting through six digits. Now in our previous video, we talked about adding through six digits. Well, this is pretty much the same thing except for we're using the reverse operation of addition, which is of course subtraction. So let's get started. Now since we're dealing with six digits, we're gonna have two six digit numbers and we're gonna be subtracting them. So I'm gonna go ahead and list two six digit numbers up on the board. So my first six digit number is 947,320 and these are six digits because one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are my digits up here. So these are 947,320 and we're doing subtraction so I'm going to put the minus sign and then I'm going to list my second six digit number which is 120,408. So that is my six digit by six digit subtraction problem. Now I know that these are big numbers, but this, this is really simple subtraction because of course you're gonna be going from right to left and you're gonna be subtracting the bottom number from the top number. So first, according to right to left, is eight, zero minus eight. Now remember we're subtracting the bottom number by the top number. So you have a total of zero and you have to take away eight. Now we know that we can't really subtract 8 from 0, right, because 0 has no value. So what we have to do is borrow 1 from the 2. So if we borrow 1 from the 2, so now this becomes a 10. And since we borrowed 1 from 2, the 2 now becomes a 1. So now we have 10 minus 8. Now we know that 8 subtracted from 10 equals 2. So we're going to bring down the 2 right underneath, so now we get 2. Now we have our second problem from right to left, which is 1 minus 0. It, it would have been 2 minus 0, but we borrowed 1 from, for the 0 minus 8. So now this becomes a 1 minus 0, and we all know 1 minus 0 is 1. Now we have 3 minus 4. We can not subtract 4 from 3, so we'll have to borrow it once again. We're going to borrow 1 from 7 to make this a 13, and since we borrowed 1, the 7 now becomes a 6. We know that 4 subtracted from 13 equals 9, so we bring down the 9, and now we have 6 minus 0, and we know that any number subtracted from a num any number, I'm sorry, any number subtracted from a 0 is that number, so 6 minus 0 is 6. Now we have 4 minus 2, which is 2, and 9 minus 1, which is 8. So we get our answer of 826,912. So that's that for subtracting through six digits. Now I know we could have to deal with large numbers, but this is really easy as long as you take it step by step and go from right to left and borrow when necessary. And so that's that for subtracting through six digits. Now keep on watching for further coming up videos, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!